we're doing skincare, we're doing skincare. So I actually found out about this really cool boutique salon and it's this like renowned spot in New York that I guess a lot of like, you know, celebs and just people with amazing skin go to. But what I thought was cool was they have this thing online where you can fill out like a little consultation form and they actually give you like a full on what they recommend for your skin type. So I was like, I don't know, I thought this would be a cool video to like test out the products that they recommended for my skin. You can see my skin's in a little bit of turmoil right now, but what it is. All of the products that they recommended for my skin type, I've been keeping them in this little basket. Most of them are from this brand right here, Biologique Recher, which I've heard amazing things about. Like this is supposed to be top, top, top skincare. I mean, it does come with like a pretty, you know, pricey price tag there, but it's supposed to be amazing. So yeah, I want to test them out, show you guys over the next month or so, like how my skin changes. Do I see Clearness, even skin tone, radiance, like what's the tea? And I feel like I should preface this, pre preface this by telling you guys what exactly my skin type is. I have very dry skin, sensitive skin. I do get, you know, breakouts. And when I do get these breakouts occasionally, they scar really badly. But they're basically recommending a seven step skincare routine for the morning, starting off with light you. I'm so sorry if I mispronounce any of these names because they're all in French. This is the cleanser that I'm supposed to be using morning and night. Then we go in with this guy as a toner, the Lotion P50 Pig, Pigum 400. So this is a vitamin rich exfoliating lotion that helps to gently purify, brighten, reduce the size of pigmentation marks and prevent new ones from appearing. So this is really good for scarring it seems. Oh my gosh, okay, so this is the cleanser. I just wet my face a little bit. It's really lightweight. It kind of feels like a lotion and it looks like a lotion. Really gentle on the skin too. And then the toner. So I just wet a little pad. Mm. <laughs> Ow, it's kind of stinging. Okay, I think I'm gonna get a new pad. If something's open, I don't really like to go over the rest of my face with that because I feel like I'm spreading bacteria over it. Ooh, this kind of like has an, not an acidy feeling, but it's like citrusy almost. I guess it is kind of like acidy. And next up we have this little serum. Look how cute this is. This is like one of, I think they're really iconic products from this brand. From what I know is that the toner, the lotion P50, and then these little serums. So, so you take it off like that and then they include this little dropper. So I'm gonna take just a little couple drops and press that into the skin. Oh, it like sunk in so quickly. That one is called the Serum Extrates Tissularis. Please, if you're French, don't <laughs> come for me or be offended. Actually, like, correct me in the comments, please. Like, if I'm saying anything wrong, constructive criticism, guys. I love it. But yeah, so this is my morning and night serum. It moisturizes the upper epidermis, plumps, and increases the skin's natural defenses and elasticity. I'm just gonna put a little bit more then on my neck because I have these, like, necklines that I'm trying to work on. Woo! They actually listed two different like moisturizers. They listed the cream iso placenta for morning and night. And then they also listed the cream mask vernis. It says the cream iso placenta is the ultimate regenerating treatment with targeted action on acne prone skin. Amazing, I need that. It helps restore the quality of the skin, altered by traces of acne, redness, irregular micro relief. And then it says for the second moisturizer, actually this one, the Verni one, morning and night as well, preserves and optimizes skin's hydration, smooths dehydration wrinkles, restores and strengthens the protective barrier function of the epidermis, inspired by the protective layer on baby's skin at birth. This revitalizing, repairing, protective treatment is ideal for deficient and or stressed skin. We strongly recommend using it by itself or together with the cream pigment, cream pig, pigum, 
at night and sleeping with it on every other day. I'll try both for today. And then basically, I think I'll just probably see like what works for me over the next month. But this is what the cream iso placenta looks like. It has kind of like a beigey tone to it. Kind of smells like soy sauce, but it feels like a mix between a lotion and a thicker like oil or serum. It feels very like luxurious to me. Okay, and this is the big bad boy, Creme Mask Vernie. This smells like Fuji apples, no joke. My grandma was like, she always made us a snack of Fuji apples. I think these are pretty much unscented and I'm just like really reading into this too much. So this is where we're getting the glow going. Again, very luxurious. I can feel it has a lot of moisture. It has a little bit of like tackiness to it too, which I actually think would be good under makeup because makeup works best when you have something underneath to like grip onto. And then they also recommended this one for my neck lines. So I'm just gonna take a little bit more go in upwards motions and then for the under eyes we have another little serum so this serum is supposed to help with skin discoloration all over the face which i thought was interesting because even though i purchased it for like my under eye area you can really use it all over the face if you're dealing with discoloration which you know i love a good multi-use product and then they recommended this guy the Creme Contour de U VIP 02. So it says, ideal for dark circles, fine lines, devitalize and tired eyes, improves elasticity, softens wrinkles and fine lines, helps prevent signs of aging, brightens and tones, reduces dark circles and bags, and also hydrates. So it's kind of like your all-in-one, um, you know, eye cream. Ooh, I love this packaging. And I love when eye creams have this applicator because it's so cooling so also what's, what i found interesting with this routine is that it's pretty much the exact same for morning and night which i always switch up my products typically um for like my nighttime routine versus my morning routine they also did recommend some like little beauty tools and stuff like that but i kind of want to do just the skincare routine for the first week and then start implementing like the roller they recommended and all that stuff so that's my plan all right, let's hope by the end of this video I have perfect, glowy, even-toned skin, under eyes, neck wrinkles gone. <laughs> All right, week one check-in. You can see my acne scars have faded a lot. They're still there faintly, and I was really tempted to use my Derma E Scar Gel because you guys know I live by this, swear by it, but I really tried not to because I wanted to see how well the Biologique Recher products would work, and I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, overall, I feel like my skin tone looks even. It looks like it has like this radiance to it that's obviously showing that my skin's nicely hydrated. Obviously I need a little bit more time to like really collect my thoughts, but already there's some products where I'm like, okay, this one I can feel is working. And one of them is the placenta serum. So this is the one they recommended for under the eyes, but I've actually started using it all over. I also really, really like this eye cream because I love this applicator. And then also this guy, the cream mask for me. So this is the one that they recommended for a moisturizer, but also for the neck. And I can tell you on the neck, I'll feel my neck like five, six hours after I've applied this and it still feels moisturized, which I think says a lot for the actual hydrating powers of the moisturizer. So I love this one. This is one of the more expensive products, but I've really, really, really seen a difference. I've been reaching for this one a bit more than the placenta. So I feel like if I was gonna repurchase one or the other, I would probably say to just go with the mask for knee for my skin type. I am getting this weird, like not a rash, but almost this pigmentation here and I'm not really sure what this is from obviously I'm not saying it is from these products or it is not because I don't know but it is strange it almost looks like it's like not irritated but just, just has a darker pigmentation to it it's really weird I've never had anything like that before I don't typically use um, like really strong toners and if I do use a toner it's once in a while on like you know, if I'm having a breakout. So I don't know if my skin's a little too sensitive or it's reacting to this exfoliation a little bit too much, but I'll keep you guys updated. And obviously you guys know I had gotten the little roller, so I have not implemented this yet. This is from the brand Environ. Oh my gosh, it's literally, it looks so pretty. I'm a sucker for packaging. Wow, so pretty. 
pretty and luxe. I'm planning to implement it this coming weekend. So I want to start this like halfway through because I really do want to see how my skin just reacts to the actual skincare routine that they gave me. And then I also totally forgot to mention that they actually also recommended two masks. But again, I haven't started these yet. I want to wait until after two weeks just to see how my skin does on the routine. So yeah, that is week one complete. All right, so end of week two, this is what the skin's looking like. The irritation here has kind of started to subdue and something really weird happened this week. I started breaking out, it was that time of month, um, but they didn't actually come to fruition. Like they didn't actually bubble up. There was no white part. They immediately turned into like almost sores or scabs. I don't know if that is from the toner, like just extracting everything. Cause this toner, it's supposed to really exfoliate and brighten the face. So maybe that's like, I'm thinking that that's what it's from is that it's just exfoliating the top layer so well that nothing underneath is getting trapped. I'm happy that it's not, I'm not getting the bumps or like the inflammation or the as much redness under the skin because it's obviously a lot easier to handle when they're flat. So I do have two different masks. I think I'll try this one today for this week and then try the other mask next week um, just to kind of spread it out and see if I really see a difference. So this is the mask VIP02 and you just want to apply a generous la layer and leave it on for 15 minutes. So. Ooh, very cooling. Kind of just feels like a lotion. One of my favorite facials to get though is an oxygen facial. So if this gives me that at home, that will be a very good feeling. They just make me feel very, like my skin feels very refreshed after and it feels very like light. All right, I'll be back in 15 minutes. Okay, hi. I kept it on a little longer, but I think it's gonna be okay. This feels like a very, very soothing mask. Like this feels like a bubble bath and candle vibe kind of mask. <laughs> okay, it really does feel very refreshed. So I think I will try out the roller. I'm like low key scared because it has all these little needles. From what I've seen online, it's something that you use like with your serum and it basically helps to get the ingredients into your skin better so that you see faster results. So I'm just gonna take the serum. Oh, it smells like literal soy sauce. It has like the craziest scent. And I guess we're just gonna go. Oh, okay, it's not very painful. Just a little roller. Oh, really roll. Okay, I'm going really gently though. If I had to scale it from zero to 10, I would say I'm probably putting like a two in pressure. Cause I can definitely feel the needles, but it's actually not painful. Then our cream. I've come to love this moisturizer so much. I really haven't used the cream uh, or the creme iso placenta too much, um, but the cream mask Verne is definitely something that I would repurchase. Like it's just super, super hydrating. And I always go in with my sunscreen as well. And we're done. Hello, it has been three weeks now um, and I have the mask we want um, on my skin. This is the second mask that I hadn't tried yet. And this one is, I was reading a little bit about it just on the back of this. This one's for rebalancing the skin. It's really good for breakouts. So I have been feeling like my skin hasn't been looking amazing, but Joe actually complimented me on my skin last night. So I think the thing that I'm realizing about this skincare line, it's really a long-term thing. Of course, there's gonna be, you know, products that you like a little bit more than others, products that you like a little bit less, and I'm still having a little bit of scarring and redness, but it is what it is. All right, so, ooh. This smells like a mix of soy sauce and chocolate. It's like the craziest scent but I had it on for 20 minutes. This is what my skin has been looking like. See how there's like, like I was trying to explain an overall clarity almost, but I'm still getting, you know, little blemishes, little imperfections here and there. But like overall, there's like this clearness. 
but I think I am gonna start implementing my uh, Derma E scar gel back in because that's the only thing like I've talked about it for years and years that's the only thing that actually helps me really fade my scars quickly so that's my update all right so week four this is what my skin's looking like I definitely feel like I, I whoa Overall, just the skin tone has improved a lot. I obviously did get, you know, a couple of breakouts within the last month, so I have a little bit of scarring going on, and I did start to, within the last week, implement my Derma E scar gel back in because that is heaven sent. But overall, I mean, I'm really happy with the results. I feel like you're never gonna find, you know, a miracle product that's just gonna cure breakouts once and for all, but it's about finding products and brands and ingredients that really work with your skin and combat most of your concerns or when breakouts come back come up combat that and stuff like that so yeah i mean overall i would say i've had a great experience with biologic recher it's been really high quality products each product has a very specific concern that it tackles which i think is nice because you can really tailor it to suit your routine and your skin their mask in general really really impressed me i love them both i think that their formulas are great the feeling is great you see definite results and i think it's just smart to have like you know different masks on hand to tackle different things that your skin's gonna combat through different weeks months days etc 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 i really like the idea that they have so many different serums for different concerns again in problematic areas in a month i've used up quite a bit of the bottles but i will say that the formulas themselves are top notch like really great formulas you see a difference and now i feel like my skin's like i have good skin days every day even if i have little breakouts or scars that i'm dealing with so i really like that and then the pig and 400 i mean this is a travel size because I actually bought both. I didn't run out of the full size, but I just had this one on hand, so I brought it out here. I think I, I think I bought this because it was like in the checkout, like, oh, do you want to add the travel size? And of course, you know how it is. I still don't know if it was what was making my skin sensitive right here, but that has pretty much faded. But what I thought was cool about this is the areas that are more clogged and where I have like more texture, which for me is on my forehead. I feel like this clears it really, really well and exfoliates that area in your daily toner. So those are the faves. You guys, look at this. I can't right now. <sighs> He's so cute, isn't he? Hello, hi, Pongo. This little guy is my assistant Corey's new puppy, but she just stepped out to run some errands. So he's like, I'm, I'm on babysitting duty here and he's so cute and cuddly. Like, I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe down below, huh? Subscribe down below and like this video if you, or give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And let me know if you guys want me to do more of these. I really think about skincare as an investment because I'm investing into myself, I'm investing into my skin. Hopefully, you know, with me testing out the brands and the products first, it gives you guys confidence when testing out products for your own. Obviously every skin type is different, but um, yeah, hopefully it helps you guys out. Say bye bye, say bye. Also say hi to your mommy who might watch this later. Hi, Corey. <laughs> um, all right, anyways, guys, love you, and you are beautiful inside and out. See you next time. All right. For sure. I know this is, oh my gosh, I hope you can't hear. There's now like a plane.